Hi, just a quick uh, second channel video. I uh, thought we'd take a look at um, the prototype four layer PCBs from JLC uh, PCB, which is one of China's biggest um, and one of the lowest cost, uh, it depends on what uh, type of service uh, you want, but uh, one of the, <laughs> certainly one of the uh, lower cost uh, PCB companies out there. And uh, this is a follow on from my previous Gigatron uh, video I've done where I uh, converted converted a two layer board into a four layer board and I got it manufactured and this thing was turned around in a ridiculous time period. Here's a uh, screenshot of like the actual times as they go through the production process it actually updates you um, on the cart but uh, it, the turnaround time on this was absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to have to uh, calculate how many days it was uh, door to door but I got them DHL delivered but basically I got five boards and you'll see the size of these in a minute which makes it absolutely remarkable like I think it's nine inches by six and a half inches or something crazy um, and they only cost me 72 US dollars plus uh, you know some extra or was postage postage was like really DHL was maybe they got some special on on DHL courier anyway um, like less than way under a hundred US dollars for five 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 like 6.25 inch by like nine inch four layer boards four this is like if, if you don't understand how ridiculously low price that is then you don't know the history of PCB prices anyway um, my first time um, <laughs> unboxing these we got damaged here it was just in a uh, like a DHL um, Express flyer uh, envelope Prototype PCBs for only two dollars, and no, they did not uh, sponsor this um, at all. It's got nothing. I just, they just happen to have the lowest um, uh, rate for four-layer boards that I found using uh, PCBShopper.com. Ah, oh, look at this: five boards, four layers. Crazy. Um, I think I paid like a couple of bucks extra because I wa I got the uh, lead-free um, hot air surface level finish on these things. Oh, sorry, I didn't have the uh, camera set to 4K, so you can watch this in 4K resolution, glorious 4K resolution, to uh, see the quality of the board yourself. Now, remember, these are prototype PCBs. Um, they're not, uh, they're not production uh, quality boards. You know, you could use them for production, um, but you know, they're not like you know, the absolute best quality. But why anyone? would make their own PCBs. A lot of people still ask, oh, Dave, can you make a video like uh, making your own PCBs at home? Why would you bother? Like, A, you're not gonna be able to do a four layer board without a massive amount of effort. But to get, I think it's 6.25 by 9.25 inches, four layer board, You can because you can't see through that, you can uh, perhaps see the darker background, that's the internal copper layer, four layer board on this thing, solder masked, silk screened, um, silk screen only one side, but uh, uh, you know, we could have got the other side for practically nicks. Um, then like, why you would bother for like, like dollars delivered, um, especially for like much smaller, boards so here we go dave cad four layer version um and it looks it looks pretty good it looks exactly what i ordered there's the uh, uh mounting holes here the silk screen is all done properly you can see the pullback on the edges of the ground plane around there that looks uh pretty decent um to get anything else i'm gonna have to uh get out the microscope but that finish looks great um and i didn't actually design this layout so like the uh v is on here and the like the hole sizes and stuff wouldn't be what i would have uh used so this is not a you know it's not <laughs> probably not the best uh test pcb if i was gonna like compare the quality of a manufacturer i would uh do some sort of you know put in uh test strips or something like that aha uh -huh. looks like they've put their identifier on there Oh, I hate that. I'm pretty sure that wasn't on the original, was it? Yeah. So a lot of manufacturers will do that. I don't believe I had an option in the checkout to uh, not do that, to not get them to add their own uh, mark on there. So, you know, especially like if you're doing front PCB front panels or something, that's just going to ruin your day on something like this. It doesn't matter a rat's, but yeah. Anyway, um, all right, let's get a close up. 
There you go. That's just the uh, silk screen in 4K. Haven't got my macro lens on yet, but uh, hopefully you can see that. Wow, that silk screen looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, that looks like, is that photo imageable? I don't know. I'm just looking at the camcorder screen here. I'm going to have to zoom in on that. Anyway, let's take a look at the, uh, the Vias down here. They look really centre. They look like bang on centre there. So no uh, breakouts there at all. That's pretty jazzy. Let's go all the way over to the other side of the board over here and see if we get the same. Yep. So dimensional wise on in terms of uh, having the uh, the Vias bang, like the drill, drills bang on to the center of the Via. Geez, you can't expect any better than that for a cheap ass uh, prototype PCB. Let's go under the Tagano microscope. Uh, sorry, but this is not uh, 4K. So we're back to uh, good old 2K. Uh, there we go. What's that? That's that's a dot matrix uh, type print. It's not photo imageable, but yeah, it's it, it's pretty good though. You see the jaggies on the on the side there. That's how you can tell that it's, you know, if it was a proper photo imageable solder mask, i.e. they actually did the vector output and actually made it as a proper um, artwork and then photo imaged it, um, photo image em emulsioned it, then uh, yeah, it'd be much nicer. But that that's that's brilliant. I got no problems with that whatsoever. Sorry, I'm not sure of the, uh, the size of the font and... Uh, stuff like this in and like i said it, it's not a, you know it's not a purpose designed uh board for testing the uh you know the quality of this thing but uh yeah you can see the uh drill alignment on those vias they're pretty tiny vias and they're they're pretty much bang on like you know they don't give you any like uh cross-sectional cut or anything like that as you'd get with a uh bigger more expensive manufacturer but uh, that's that, that board's got winner written all over it. I got no problems with that at all. Thumbs up, <laughs> especially for the cost. Even if it was crap quality um, silk screen, I wouldn't care for for the price. It's insane. It's insane. Look at the size of this board. It is enormous. Look, <laughs> it is enormous board, and four layers. Four. Not this two layer rubbish. Is it just me? Is it my eyes or are those? No, I think that's fuzzy. Why is my Tagano not not sharp out there like that? Why is it not? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's going good when we go in, but don't know. I have problems with this thing or the with this setup, this recording setup all the time. Anyway, there you go. That's the PCB from uh, JLC PCB. That is absolutely awesome. Ah, their service was brilliant. I love the fact that uh, you know the um, they had a when you upload your PCB, they've got like the image viewer, so it shows you what the finished board is going to look like. Um, you know, just to check any gross errors and and stuff like that. And well, I'm yet to make it up, but uh, you know, there's no like over etching, like um, anything like that. You know, I can't. It's hard to tell, right? Unless you get a proper thing which pushes the test coupon, which pushes the tolerance of the board. You know the tolerance of the manufacturing and stuff like that but uh no uh breakouts in the vias nothing silly um they haven't uh like i don't know like internal layers i don't know if they've like you know, modified the gerbers and done uh some pullback or something like that they shouldn't have because there was more than enough clearance there um oh yeah the um solder mask solder mask alignment forgot about that it's a little bit off there you go forgot it man <laughs> because <laughs> anyway there you go so if we do it, that's one. Now we go right over the other side of the board. See if it's any. It's better on the. No, no. It's 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 still off a little bit. So yeah, there's a you know a little bit of alignment, solder mask alignment issue there. But wow, not for the price. You're not gonna not gonna. That's not gonna ruin your day at all. So anyway, this is just a through hole board, but four layers for like under a hundred US dollars delivered via courier in like. For, and that was over the weekend, too. That was over the weekend. I ordered it, like, last Thursday, and it's Monday here. Is it, Was it last Thursday? I have to check the date I actually ordered it. Wednesday, maybe, something like that. And I had it on the Monday. Like, I had it on the Monday, before lunch. 
via DHL Courier. Crazy. Four of these. Five of these four-layer boards. I, 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 you know, I'm absolutely, like, you know, I can understand how, like, the smaller little prototype, you know, Arduino-type shield size boards are so cheap and stuff like that. You might get five of those for 10 bucks or whatever. That's, you know, remarkable. But big boards like this, this takes up a lot of panel space and, and four layers um, to do the four-layer process as well. And I think to get red, I got green solder mask by default. To get, like, red, it was... Um, uh, what was it like? It wasn't much. It was like ten bucks more or something to get red. It wasn't, you know, <laughs> it wasn't much at all. And I could have got gold flash for probably another ten bucks or something. I don't know, but it's it's insane. So there you go, JLC PCB. Wow, not too shabby, huh? Catch you next time.